are off to the gym. That's impressive. Hi everyone, it's Dr. Elizabeth. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. 2018 is right around the corner and it's time to start thinking about taking our fitness goals and a healthy lifestyle to the next level. So I decided to sneak you guys into the gym with me to give you a little taste of gym life. My gym, to be exact. The first chapter in my book is choice. And the last chapter of my book is community. I love this concept of community because we can go so much further together than we could on our own, especially when we love, encourage, and help lift each other up. Speaking of encouraging, loving, and lifting each other up, I want to take a minute to talk about one of the messages I received from you guys. But to do that, I'm going to have to take it back a bit specifically all the way back to early this morning for a little wake time story. That's wake time as opposed to bedtime. So here we go. Morning guys, good morning, how are you? So I thought, so I thought this morning we might just have a little chat here in bed. So just kind of like vlog style, I wanted to share some things with you guys and I thought this would be kind of nice just to do it right here. So it's kind of nice and cozy. This is Vlogmas after all. And there were a couple messages I really wanted to just take a couple minutes and share about. First message, this is for you, Emma. Hi, Emma. And I want to talk to not just Emma, but everybody about this topic. I want to tell you guys something. This community and this channel is a safe and beautiful place for all of you. All of you women who are coming here, all ages, and all of you men as well. And I'm going to speak just for a minute to the women because there's this conversation that after a certain age that you're considered left over. Nobody's going to want you. Nobody's going to want to date you. No one's going to want to marry you. No one's going to. This is whole idea. And Emma was so beautiful and very transparent. And she sent me this message. And there is this culture in college that talks, that they talk to the girls and call them leftover. And they're in their late teens and 20s. And I just was like, oh, no, no, no. I need to talk about this for a minute. So here's what I want to share with you guys. You are all gorgeous. You are all beautiful. You are all desirable. You are all sexy. You are all extraordinary. Each one of you in your own beautiful and unique way. If somebody's trying to make you feel like you are a quote unquote leftover, that's on them. That's their old paradigm or way of thinking about it. It's their cultural paradigm. It's their societal paradigm, but it has nothing to do with you. I want all of my beauties here on my channel to know that you guys are ageless and beautiful, regardless of whether you're 17, which I think our youngest subscriber is 17, or whether you're, you know, 58, 68, 78, 88, 98. I don't care. You're extraordinary. And so, so here's a little secret on how you can get over feeling like that. The more we fall in love with our own lives and the more we fall in love with ourselves, the more self-love we have, the less any of that matters. I'm 58. I've never been married and I've never had any children. And I have to tell you guys, I have a fabulous life. And the idea of being a leftover, <laughs> leftovers is only something I eat every once in a while. I never ever think in terms of that because it's just not true. There is somebody so extraordinary and so fabulous out there for me. And in the meantime, while I invite him in for me to have a beautiful relationship with, I'm having a wonderful, extraordinary, sexy, juicy, delicious life. So I want you guys, instead of worrying about when the guy comes in, get yourself out there, do the things you love to do, follow your passions, follow your dreams, uh, create beautiful careers that are not only really fulfilling for yourself, you're of service to other people. You'll be so busy having yourself an incredible life. You're not even gonna think about that. So 
that's just one of the conversations I wanted to have. One of the things I love to do every morning is look at my manifestation board. It just sets the tone for the whole day. I'm going to talk more about how to create a manifestation board in our upcoming video this month because I want us to be ready to go come January 1st, 2018. The other thing I love to do is write down what I'm grateful for. I do this every evening before I go to sleep and I do this every morning before I get out of bed. So what are we waiting for? Let's get our butts out of bed, <laughs> get ourselves our raw green juice, and I think that's it. Let's blow this popsicle stand. <laughs> you guys ready? <sighs> Let's go. Oh yeah, always remember to make your bed. Successful people always make their bed. Sets the tone for the whole day. Boom. Done. I know what I'm doing. I got my game plan. I'm grateful. I'm hungry. Let's go have raw green juice. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Every single morning after I do my meditation and my gratitude journal and I look at what I have to do for the day, I zip to the kitchen and grab my raw green juice or my superfoods green smoothie because both of those are absolutely the breakfast of champions. Now I'm heading to the bathroom to get ready to start my day. I can't wait to see how much more strength and energy I have today than I did yesterday. Time to wash my face and get going with the day. You guys ready? Okay, so go put your workout clothes on. I'm gonna put my workout clothes on and I'm taking you guys with me to Cold's Gym. All right, get going. Go, what are you waiting for? <laughs> I think it's time to go. All right, come on you guys. Got a little jacket in case I'm cold, got my phone. Let us underlay. make you so happy like this 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 beautiful little wreath here every time I walk in the door and, and leave it just makes me so happy don't forget you guys the little things in life that really matter most okay let's go oh <laughs> okay I can tell you guys this is like you have to shut this We are off to the gym. In my book, I talk about community. When you go to the gym, you know, sometimes it can be kind of, you know, challenging to motivate yourself to go there. If you have a community of people who you know you're gonna go see, if you know you're gonna see your friends, if you know you have a workout partner and you're gonna be meeting them there, it's just extra motivation to get yourself out the door. And for me, at this point, I get so excited to go to the gym. I can't wait. I get to see all my friends. I get to push myself harder than I did the day before. Also, I set the bar for myself. And what I say is, okay, yesterday I was this strong. Let's see how much stronger I can be today. And I make it like a little game and I play like it's a little game. And when you do that, all these little, you know, just these little tricks that you can do, are really great things to make the gym a whole lot more fun and in a place that you're looking forward to going to. So actually, I can't wait to share my gym with you guys because I know I've talked about it so much and I've never taken you guys there. So it's going to be really fun just to bring you with me and show you, you know, some of the exercises that I do. And so if you do have a gym that you belong to, that you can apply to some of these in your gym. So when I get to the gym, the first thing I like to do is warm up. I love this stair climber. Not only is it great for cardiovascular exercise, it's also incredible for building your glutes, building up your legs, and it's just an overall wonderful cardiovascular and warm up machine. So this is where I start. Next, I move on to my weightlifting. And as you saw earlier in the video, I did shoulders, I did biceps, and I did a little bit of glute work today. So I think we're done here. Let's move on to our next adventure. 
We are thirsty, we are hungry. Pick up some kale. And I also think I wanna make some other yummy things for you guys. So I've been thinking, everybody's doing Vlogmas. And so this is going to be our version of Vlogmas. I can't vlog every day. Well, we'll see, let's just see how we do. But we're gonna vlog more than once a week, right? For sure we're gonna vlog more than once a week. So that's the game plan at least. So this will be our version of Vlogmas. So um, what I thought we would do is we're gonna do some holiday festivities as well for you guys. So stay tuned. <laughs> okay, you guys, I didn't want this video vlog to get too long. So what we're gonna do is end it here and it's this is going to be a to be continued. Make sure you turn on your notification bell because in your inbox in the next couple of days is going to be part two of this vlog, including my delicious, incredible raw vegan pad thai kelp noodles dish. And it is incredible. All right, you guys, I'll see you soon. Mwah! Love you lots. Happy skinny dipping in the fountain of youth.